thank you. Thank you for those kind words. Um, while I come from Sandringham, I'm wearing my other hat as uh, educator and enthusiast of uh, social media because I think that's where the future is going to come from first. That's where we'll see it. And it's from that source that this talk comes. Um, let's imagine for a moment that, not a very far from here, a few hundred metres from here, John Doe has come off his motorbike. And uh, he's had a head injury. He's become unconscious. He's lost his airway. He stopped breathing. Fortunately, he's broken his leg. And there's a large internal hemorrhage forming. Fred is a bystander and goes over, calls triple zero, of course, to our ambulance colleagues who say, we'll be there as soon as we can. Can you go over and render assistance? And Fred gets some advice on how to do that. But Fred is not trained. Fred is making this up as he goes along. He's a bit nervous. He's not sure what to do. Fred is wishing, I wish I could get in contact with someone who knew what they were doing. Someone at the Alfred, where there's hundreds, maybe thousands of BLS trained people. What if I could get them to come right here, right now? to open this man's airway, potentially, if you've got the portable gear, to breathe for him, to prevent his hypoxic brain injury at the start, to bind up his leg, maybe straighten and then bind up his leg, to prevent his shock and his uh, end organ damage at the start, before the ambulance gets there. So in this audience, who is BLS trained? Hands up. Who's done the BLS training? Not as many as I thought. A third, maybe? Who has a smartphone? Everybody. So you're the people I need to talk to. The concept is Good Sam. A cute little word play on Good Samaritan to remind everyone that the Good Samaritan laws are very solid in Victoria. You will not be penalised for going to help somebody. But also for smartphone activated medics in the kind of military sense rather than doctors. Okay, nurses and paramedics are, of course, extremely welcome. Devised in London by the fascinating man Mark H. Wilson, who's been variably a GP, then a paramedic, now a neurosurgeon, who's very motivated on this front, for reals. Fascinating speaker, too. I highly recommend you check out his YouTube channel. Um, uh, it's a simple concept, but it's difficult in execution. Both the alerter and the responder need to have the app. So please, after this talk, download the app, whichever one you feel most comfortable to have. They're wrapped in regulatory requirements because it all has to be logged, what the responder sends, and it all has to, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, response, so the responder needs to be accredited by word of mouth at this point. Okay? Um, once you've got the app, then it's very simple. The alerter hits the button on the app, it pinpoints their exact location, provided you've got location services on, with frightening accuracy. If not, you can correct it a little bit, say, no, I'm actually on this corner or in this room. Hit the button. It alerts the um, responders, three of them, and it puts you straight through to the ambulance in whatever country you're registered. Then the responder gets a message, three of them get a message, and they get a choice to opt in or opt out, without prejudice, no pressure, but if you're available and you're confident in your BLS, then you can respond. You get exact directions to the location. You get exact directions to the nearest AED. You can be at the scene with John by the roadside, open his airway, prevent his hypoxic brain injury. If you've got the, a toy um, mask, you can prevent his impact brain apnea. You can bind his leg and minimise his shock. The problem with crowdsourcing resuscitation is you need a crowd. This is the current map of London, where it was invented, where London Hems is very active. And they claim that no one is more than 200 metres from a responder. There's also a similar looking map of AEDs throughout London. Unfortunately, this is the map of Melbourne. There's 12 of us. Doesn't exactly make a crowd. Um, and I think, I don't know, it's between Alfred and Cabrini. They've mapped all the AEDs. Um, so, please, be confident in your BLS skills or get confident. Okay, this is a role we should play. I feel, imagine you, a relative, a friend, 
goes down on the street and gets bad BLS or not the best BLS. It's better than nothing. Let's not denigrate it too much. The research out of Scandinavia, where there's a lot of uh, BLS trained people, anything's better than nothing, but trained is better than untrained. And as well as the cardiac arrest, CPR stuff, there's this trauma stuff, which does help in the first minutes. Download the Good Sam Responder app. Those people who put their hands up, please download the Responder app. Start this critical mass forming. All right? People you, who aren't confident or think they might have an arrest sometime soon, download the Alerta app. All right? Once you've got the apps, then you can map the AEDs. Okay, and we really get Melbourne covered for this kind of urgent emergent care. So, rather than talk about trauma, let's app trauma. Let's work the smartphones and their location systems to really improve the first minutes of care even before the ambulance gets there. Thank you. <laughs>